Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. Got a question from Chris Martino. He's a 49 year old lifter. Chris has been working out five, six, seven times a week at the gym. His work schedule's changed and he's wondering what the best split is to do for three days a week. Is it a full body workout? Is that the best option? I'm gonna tell you why I don't think so for the most part for the average guy. Before I get into that question, if you have a question for me, check out the link below. Come on over, submit your questions. The best questions I turn into videos just like this. So Chris is 49 years old. He's been hammering away at the gym. His work schedule changes. And he can only train three, maybe four days a week. And he wants to know if full body is the best option for him. Now, first off, full body is a good quality option. There are many reasons to use a full body workout. But... Since you're not a beginner and since you've added a fair amount of strength, I'm assuming, it's better to probably use an upper-lower split. That way you're not spending all your time doing warm-ups, a lot of different compound movements. An upper-lower or an A-B type of split, in my opinion, is a better option. You still get the benefits of frequency training, but you don't have to live in the gym. It's a little easier type of schedule to stick to because... A full body workout, once you've added a substantial amount of strength, you're doing more warm-up sets, you tend to live in the gym for an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, and they can be just a pain in the ass because you got to do so many exercises. I just don't like them for intermediate lifters or beyond. So here's what I would suggest doing an A-B type of split. It can be an upper-lower split, or you can finagle it in any way you want. You can uh, you know, do back and quads, deadlifts and squats, or whatever you want, you can as long as you're alternating between two types of workouts that work the entire body. You could do, if you're doing a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you could do A, workout A, workout B, then workout A, then workout B on the days you work out. If you're doing every other day, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, skip Saturday, Sunday, and then skip Monday, Tuesday, like every other day, you can still use this type of training, A, B, split. So really, it can work any way you want. If you work out Monday and Tuesday and have off on Wednesday, work out Thursday and Friday and have off on the weekend, you can still do it. You can do A, B, off, A, B, off, off. So it works with, it's very flexible. When you alternate between an A, B split, you can, it doesn't, you don't have to stick to a specific schedule. You can base it on how tired you are, what your work schedule is. And I like to have some flexibility. So you can just rotate A and B. The only thing is, if you do them back-to-back -back consecutive days of training A and B, you got to take a rest day afterwards. So that is my best advice. You can certainly try a full body workout if you feel your strength levels aren't uh, where they should be at and a full body workout appeals to you. But in my opinion, this is the best option for most lifters because you'll spend less time in the gym. You don't have to focus on a lot of exercises. You can focus on a smaller list of exercises. And that way, in my opinion, you can give 100% or as much as you can to that short list of exercises. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.